What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Thomas Dolby. And we're moving ahead to the next album, The Flat Earth 1983. Once again, shout out to Han Solo for sharing this. And the first track is Dissidence, a term that, at least in its primary setting, relates to politics. Someone, or in this case, plural, people, who are set against the state um, for reasons um, perhaps conceptual, perhaps emotional, perhaps national meaning nations, it's generally speaking a anthropological term for peoples, whereas the state is, you know, a political organization, be it the city-states of old or on into the modern nation-states. Um, so yeah, I wonder if we're talking politics, when we're talking dissidents, people can be dissident within a cultural group or within a social environment, meaning it doesn't always re relate to politics per se, at least the way it's used in, you know, common um, conversations now, but ultimately it is a term that in its technical definition is political. So I wonder why people are dissident, I wonder who or what they are dissident toward, and I wonder if this is a snapshot in time or if we have a narrative in time and therefore perhaps some um, outcome or resolution. Let's find out. This is Thomas Dolby, the first track on his 1983 album The Flat Earth, and it's called Dissidents or it would be if everything had been turned off. It already sounds funky. That bass is already like, hey. Stretching, getting ready. It's like a cash register. There we go. What time signature is this? I like that.
constant, heavy, imperial march. And the rhythm of this one syncopated, abstract. And like eight rhythmic elements. actually let me just once again confirm that I'm now moving Dolby into that category solidly that I've put only a vaunted few in which is to say like Japan Roxy music um, is there anyone else I've put in there um, maybe John Fox either way like he's one of the most creative artists I know and he doesn't make music that even when it's like oh it's synth pop oh there's a bit of funk it's only part of the story like he does those things in ways unlike other artists and I mentioned that in a previous reaction someone is like you know I'm glad you caught that because that really is you know something that I think is underappreciated I feel like it's surprising only having gone through an album of his and some extra you know b-sides bonus tunes and now just kicking off another album again he doesn't make music like anyone else even at this time even saying okay it's got keyboards and drum machines and you know it's it's in that early 80s synth sort of environment. Um, it's just his own thing. I would say a recurrent theme does seem to be that funky groove. He has funky bass lines. He has tracks that have this you know, funky swagger to them, even as they're doing all sorts of other things, including arrhythmic elements like you know, sounds, you know, um, world, you know, like live sounds. Um, cosmonaut broadcasts, um, all so like cash registers maybe, all sorts of, um, like what is it, diegetic sound, I'm trying to remember the correct name. In any case, um, and then so we get ultimately what sounds like he's saying, you know, these phrases that can definitely fit into a political narrative or at least a snapshot, like an iron fist, the way a state might rule leading people to feel oppressed, to feel beleaguered and willing to support a resistance or outright rebellion movement, you know, a dissident movement. And then, you know, tip the, the fuse and the kerosene, the idea of not just um, an explosive rebellious situation as a metaphor, but literally like Molotov cocktails and explosive devices maybe thrown at riot police. And it feels like some of the phrases used are in that you know political realm but there were other phrases that are sort of like general expressions where i felt like you know they might be serving multiple purposes so i'm not quite sure what's going on but i do think we're talking political dissidents um you know squaring off against you know courting disaster i believe that phrase was used again another common expression um but you know maybe courting disaster by trying to resist a um, authoritarian government. So, um, curious to hear what people have to say about the themes. Again, even if maybe there were some elements here where it's like, wow, I'm not sure, you know, those arrhythmic, um, sonic interjections and the, um, some of the, like that flare at the end where it did those like triples. And ultimately, as I said, the, the rhythmic, um, tempo of this one like the the time signature it felt like less conventional it wasn't you know certainly wasn't a straight away like 4-4 beat it had um, complexity to it so um, yeah cool opening track um, and lots of um, sonic elements where it's like he just does things differently so looking forward to the rest of the album once again shout out to Han Solo for sharing this let me know what you think I'll see you next time peace